Welcome to the Secrets of the Bible Channel. Surely you must have heard of the story of Cain, the first murderer in humanity according to the sacred scriptures. The Bible recounts that Cain left the presence of God and that of his father Adam, heading to another land to dwell. Many doubts and theories arise about this land, raising questions about its location. Often, people suggest that he settled in the land of a man named Nod. So what is the truth behind all of this? In this video, I will explore the history of the land of Nod, Cain's wife, and other related aspects. Please leave your like to not forget and share with those seeking a deeper understanding of the scriptures. The land of Nod and the mystery of Cain's destiny, the incredible narrative of the book of Genesis tells us that Adam and Eve had their first son, whom they called Cain. Everyone is already familiar with the tragic story of Cain, the world's first murderer. He cold-bloodedly murdered his own brother Abel and then fled from his parents and from the presence of God. God, despite cursing him, still loved his first son and placed a mark to protect him, preventing him from being killed by others. However, many doubts and questions arise about Cain's life and destiny after receiving this mark and fleeing from his family and God. He went to a land called Nod, where theories and speculations begin. Some on the internet suggest that Nod was inhabited by a humanity preceding Adam and Eve, but this is a misinterpretation of the sacred text. Often, these theories arise due to a lack of knowledge of Aramaic and Hebrew in the writings of the book of Genesis. In the book of Genesis chapter 4, verse number 16, and verse number 17, it is told to us the following, And Cain went out from before the face of the Lord, and dwelt in the land of Nod, on the east side of Eden. And Cain knew his wife, and she conceived, and bare Enoch. And he built a city, and called the name of the city after the name of his son Enoch. The virgin interpretations begin to arise when this text mentions that Cain departed to the land of Nod. Many mistakenly interpret that Nod was a pre-Adamic figure created by God, with a family and lineage close to the Garden of Eden. These theories, devoid of biblical basis, suggest that Nod was an inhabitant located east of the Garden of Eden, with a daughter who became Cain's wife. It is worth noting that such interpretations are simply based on the account that mentions Cain meeting his wife in the land of Nod. However, these interpretations ignore the meaning of the Hebrew and Aramaic terms used in the biblical text. When it is said that Cain knew his wife in the land of Nod, it is important to understand that this is a biblical term denoting sexual relations. Therefore, Cain had relations with this woman and fathered a son named Enoch. It is crucial not to confuse this Enoch with the Enoch of Seth's lineage. This Enoch is a descendant of Cain, while the other comes from a completely different lineage. Enoch is the name of two enigmatic figures in the Bible. Initially, he is described as being the descendant of Adam, the seventh in line, the son of Jared, and the father of Methuselah. Later, the same name is associated with the son of Cain, to whom a city was dedicated. Despite sharing the same name and being figures from the Old Testament, their stories present distinct contexts. According to tradition, the first Enoch lived 365 years before being taken up to heaven in body and soul, to be close to God. The second Enoch was honored with a city in his name and had a son named Ireth. Furthermore, three books attributed to Enoch as the author have been found. However, there is controversy over whether he was indeed the author or just the inspirer of the recorded passages. It is suggested that the first book contains only fragments of his words, preserved and transmitted orally until officially recorded. But this is a topic for another video. In case you are interested in a video about Enoch or the Book of Enoch, leave it in the comments. It is also common for many people to be confused when trying to understand the reality presented in this sacred text mentioning his wife and son. The truth is that Cain was already married, or at least involved with a woman who accompanied him. This woman apparently was one of his sisters, as suggested by various ancient texts considered authentic in ancient Judaism. For example, the Book of Jubilees. The Book of Jubilees is an ancient text that is part of apocryphal or pseudepigraphal literature, meaning it was not included in the canon of the Hebrew Bible or the Christian Bible. It is considered part of the intertestamental writings, which means it was written during the period between the Old and New Testaments, probably in the 2nd century BCE. 
This book is called Jubilees because it tells the story of the world from creation to the revelation of the Law Torah. To Moses on Mount Sinai in cycles of Jubilees, which are periods of 49 years. It reinterprets biblical history, providing additional details and expanding on certain events mentioned in the Bible. The book of Jubilees was originally written in Hebrew, but has come down to us complete in Ethiopian and in fragments in Greek and Latin. It presents a theological and chronological view of Jewish history, emphasizing the observance of religious precepts, including dietary laws, purification practices, and religious festivals. Furthermore, the Book of Jubilees places great emphasis on the figure of Moses as the mediator between God and the children of Israel and establishes various interpretations for biblical events, offering a unique perspective on Jewish history and religion. Despite not being recognized as canonical by all Jewish and Christian traditions, the Book of Jubilees is considered canonical in the Ethiopian Orthodox Church. In the tradition of the Ethiopian Orthodox Tuahedo Church, the Book of Jubilees is accepted as part of the Holy Scriptures. This means that it is included in the canon of scriptures considered authorized and sacred for the faith and practice of Ethiopian Orthodox believers. Thus, for members of this tradition, the Book of Jubilees holds religious authority and is considered a text inspired by God. In this book, it mentions that the name of Cain's wife was Avon, identifying her as one of the daughters of Adam and Eve, possibly preceding Cain. Interestingly, when Eve gives birth to Cain, she expresses gratitude to God, emphasizing that she finally had a son. This statement suggests that Eve had given birth to daughters before. Although some may doubt this, the text allows for this interpretation especially considering Eve's expression of relief at finally having a son. The Bible indeed mentions that Adam and Eve had sons and daughters, emphasizing that there were other descendants besides Cain and Abel. So, according to some interpretations, Cain would have married one of his sisters, as it was a primordial era where such practices were not uncommon. Despite this, many people still question and claim that Cain went to dwell in the land of Nod, and that Nod was a human figure. However, by not understanding Hebrew and Aramaic, they end up creating various mistaken theories. Firstly, it is important to understand that Nod is actually a term that designates a land with an interesting meaning to wander in Hebrew Aaron. The Bible even mentions that this place is considered to the east of Eden, indicating the region east of Eden as the destination where Cain went, becoming a wanderer in the land in the literal sense of the word. The term Nod literally means to wander the earth, indicating a person without direction, without a defined path. The etymology of the term suggests that it is derived from the Hebrew verb for to wander, implying someone who wanders or pilgrimages. Thus, one who lives in the land of Nod essentially represents someone who wanders through different places without a fixed abode. The historian Flavius Josephus records in his Antiquities of the Jews, dated to 93 AD, that Cain persisted in his cruelty during his wanderings through the aimless land. He resorted to violence and theft, establishing weights and measures, turning an innocent society into one of cunning and deceit. Cain also delineated property boundaries and built a fortified city in honor of his firstborn son, Enoch, as well as employing his other sons and daughters. By understanding the terms in Hebrew and Aramaic, we can obtain a more cohesive interpretation. Furthermore, we can make comparisons with other ancient Semitic languages, such as Assyrian and Akkadian, which were spoken by Abraham, Isaac, and Moses, Jacob and Moses, all Semites. For example, in Assyrian and Akkadian, the term Nod or land of Nod is translated as Nadu, which means neglect or living without direction. Thus, the land of Nod is understood as a place where a person wanders aimlessly, neglecting their responsibilities and living without purpose. This interpretation reveals that Nod is not the name of a person, but rather the name of a region east of the Garden of Eden, or even a description for someone who wanders aimlessly, neglecting their obligations. Therefore, Cain, by choosing this path of cruelty and spiritual neglect, deviated from the teachings of God. Leave your comments if you are familiar with these interpretations and share your opinion on the video. May God bless you and see you soon.